looks probably a, a lot more barren and winter-like than it was on that late summer afternoon, September 11, 2001. It's probably beautiful then. Uh, hemlock trees and uh, alder greenery. It's really a beautiful bucolic scene most of the time, and I'm I'm sad to be back here. It's hard. It's hard when you realize that that 40 innocent people died here, and one of them was my son. Hey, Jay, how you doing? Where are we Good. at today? How's it going, guys? Um, we are at the Castro Theater, and we just got done seeing an amazing movie. Um, Mark it, Bingham. It's the Mark Bingham story. It's called With You. With You. And uh, it is completely, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm speechless. It's an incredible movie. And uh, once we get the opportunity to share more of it with you, we will. Um, I am actually a little bit lost for words because I was completely blown away. Um, thank you, Rick, for giving us the opportunity to do this and see this movie today. Um, I must have cried like two or three times during the, during the film. <laughs> Um, you know, I thought I was going to come out and give this great speech, but I think the one thing that I would like to say is I'd like to tell Alice ha Happy Father's Day. Um, we were honored to meet you last night and get an opportunity to talk with you, and we're going to show you guys at YouTube uh, that clip, but uh, she was a mother and a father uh, Mark's whole life, and you can see that in her son. You can see the character that he was raised with, and you know, she's, she's, she's a total role model. And Alice, it was a pleasure to meet you last night and get to talk to you. And she confided something pretty enormous with us last night. Oh, go ahead. Uh, she told me on the way in that she hadn't even seen the movie yet. Yeah. She might have seen little bits and pieces of it. Yeah. But I mean, even the little clip last night where they talked, she said uh, she didn't know her son had smoked. Just one of those yeah. little details about his life that, you know, I, I gotta think that it, it had to be incredibly heartbreaking for her, as well as, you know, beautiful and uplifting and just there's a whole range of emotions seeing his life replayed out on the movie, yeah. you know, so many things she didn't see. So what did you think of the movie? I thought it was incredible, yeah. you know. They, they said that they didn't want it to just be a 9-11 movie and they didn't want it to just be a gay movie. And it's all so inter intertwined that I don't know... How you how it can't be a gay movie? How it can't be a man? It's all that stuff more, you know. What was an incredible movie? Yeah, well, he, yeah. he lived an incredible life. Yeah, know, and, I agree. Yeah. Okay, YouTube. Well, this is the the Castro Theater, the outside parts of it. Um, you want to go ahead and lead into the interview with Alice? Well, yep, there's a little portion of our talk with Alice last night, and I have to apologize for my interviewing skills. Jay just kind of chucked me in, and I had no idea what I was doing. So, here you go. Hi. Hi, YouTube. We're here at the premiere party for uh, With You, the Mark Bingham story, and we're here with Alice, Mark's mom. And here. the first thing we want to say is hi to Rick, who was supposed to be hi, here Rick. tonight. <laughs> and we're standing in in his stead. So, hi, how are you doing? I'm very, very well, thank you. Um, I think Rick wanted you to give her a hug for him. All right, I'll take oh, okay. it. <laughs> hi, hi. We're That's for you, Rick. Yeah. We're passing out lots of hugs tonight. Um, so, yes, how, how, how is it being on the premiere circuit? It's scary. It's uh, way over my head. Uh, I'm taking a lot of courage and strength and self-confidence from the other confident people that are here with me tonight. <laughs> So we'll get through it together. <laughs> well, we're all very proud of you. Yes. Oh, well, so, thank you very much. Thank your you. son's a hero, but you're definitely a hero of ours, too. Yeah. Oh, so. thank you very yeah. much. I just don't know what to say to that. I, I loved my son, Mark, and yeah. I miss him very much. And, and if he were here tonight, I'd be able to get through this night a lot more easily. He was really, he was the PR man, the strong social guy, the guy who was out, uh, outgoing and... and uh, <laughs> I'm not like that really, and I'm so grateful for the, the help that I get from friends of Mark who kind of coach me along a little bit. It's, it, I'm really looking forward to seeing with you the Mark Mingham story. I haven't even seen it yet. You know, I've seen a little sneak preview, and I've heard a lot about it, and, uh, but I've put a lot of trust in the producers, Scott Gratcheff and Holly and Chris Million. They've done a, a nice job, and I, I, I'm just really anxious to see what it looks like in, well, in Final really Four. Well, we're really anxious, too. Yeah. 
So it's really, are they going to show a clip of it tonight? Or? I hope so. I think so. And then uh, tomorrow night, of course, or tomorrow afternoon, four at the Castro Theater, the world famous Castro Theater on <laughs> Castro Street in San Francisco. We're all going to be there for that. Awesome. We're going to be there for that too, and that, we're very excited about that. Right. Yeah. All right. Well. Thank you very much for taking a minute. To oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Hi, everybody. Hi, Rick. We're going to go inside and mingle and chat and enjoy our evening, not on a video. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> See you at Bingham Cup 2012 in Manchester, England. Cool. Hello, YouTube. So I'm here with Todd Sarner, who's a very good friend of Mark Bingham's. And Hi, YouTube. And he's also the one who sort of initiated the project to get the movie made. And I was wondering if maybe you would tell everybody a little bit about how you're feeling about viewing this movie tonight. Tonight? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow? Well, we're seeing a clip. Tonight. We're seeing a clip. I've, I've, um, I have seen um, an advanced uh, copy of the movie. I'm, I'm excited uh, that everyone's going to uh, finally be seeing it after about eight and a half years of... Uh, of, of hard work on behalf of the production crew, Scott and Chris and, and Holly. These, it's been a labor of love for these guys, and they've they've kind of done it out of their own pockets a lot of the a lot of the time. And um, from what I've seen, it's it's really a great representation of, of Mark. You you get a good feeling for who he was and uh, uh, what an alive, uh, uh, outstanding, friendly. Uh, crazy, you know, person that Mark was, and, uh, and it's great watching all the old home videos and everything. <laughs> Not great watching some of them. Some of them are a little embarrassing, but <laughs> but it's it's good. Yeah, it's, you know, that's one thing we understand is when you when your lives on video, everything's out there—the good, the bad, and the ugly sometimes. Yeah, and I I, I guess it was an act of trust. Um, a, a supreme act of trust on my part to to hand over that big box of videotapes to these guys because there was some stuff on there that I wouldn't have loved being shown. Yeah, now, yeah. I've got to ask them because we know why we videotape our lives. Uh huh. Why did you guys film all that stuff that you then handed over? Ignorance, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, um, Mar Mark was in PR. Um, I was going the psychotherapy route. I'm a therapist. Um, one of our old friends, um, Ali, Ali A, uh, became a filmmaker, but uh, the point was that there was always a part of us. There was always a part of Mark. There was always a part of me that wanted to be a filmmaker. Uh, Mark was telling me the month before he passed away, um, there was like some transitions coming up in his life, and one of the things he was excited to do was to get into filmmaking some more. He had some ideas for projects he wanted to do. And I think that was a lot of it. In, in high school and in middle school, Mark and his friends, just before I knew him, would film these epic spy movies. They called them the Agent J uh, movies. They, they filmed these epic spy movies and Mark was like the bad guy, you know, villain. And, and then we would film these epic music videos. You might have seen one of those clips. Um, yeah. And uh, it was just the part of us that kind of, we were doing what we were doing in life, but we kind of secretly wanted to make movies, you know? And that was the motivation. So there was a big, big box of tapes um, from 17, 18 years of stuff. Now is it, did you get all that stuff back when you were done? They still have it. Yeah, I'm thinking they're gonna blackmail me in some way. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think once all your stuff's pretty much out there, there's not much left to blackmail you for. Well, from what I've seen, they were selective in some of their editing. So that's good. Well, we've been having a very good time. We've had a couple of Cosmos. A couple of Cosmos, here. as you can tell. And we want to say hi to Rick again. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. How you doing? We're sure here, buddy. We have a couple of these in there for you. Come on. I've made a jackass out of myself once tonight, so you'd be proud. I'm working on it now. <laughs> So, all right. Good night, YouTube. Thanks a lot. It's what we do when the chips are down that really determine who we are. And heroism is all about what we do when the chips are down. I don't know what I would have done aboard Flight 93. I know what I would have been tempted to do. I'm so glad Mark and the others chose to do the right thing. 
and they made a difference for a lot of people. There are a lot of people who are alive in Washington, D.C. and in Shanksville, Pennsylvania because of that little group of guys on board Flight 93 who are willing to act fast and hard and long until something, until they got the result they wanted. <laughs> That's what I think a hero is. Through the current, as the waves 